Hello and welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to select data from the BC underscore travel or flight model that SAP provides for us. If you watch my previous video, I showed you how that we can go ahead and create data in this flight model. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can figure out how the tables are structured, how they're able to be joined together, and how we can go ahead and create reports based off of that. So for our first transaction, we're going to go into SQVI. This is Quick Viewer. It's actually used to make little queries that we can run so that we can you know, join tables and have selection screens and all that. We're not going to be using it for all of that. I uh, encourage you to go and research this transaction, SQVI, because it offers a way lot more functionality than, than what I'm showing you here. So we're going to create a quick view. We're going to call it Z Flight. Click Create. I'm going to give it a description. So I'll just say joining flight model tables. For data source, we're going to want to click table join. Basis mode is fine and click continue. So this is our main screen where we can view our tables. What we're going to want to do is in this screen, add tables. So we're just going to pick tables from the flights model. So we're going to do S flight, which again is our flight table. We're going to insert another table. We'll do SPFLI, which is our flight schedule. And the reason I use SQVI is because say I know nothing about this data model and I know I need you know a field from this table and a field from this table and I want to see if I can join those tables for a, a SQL query. When I add these tables here in SQVI, it'll show me which key fields I can join these tables on to find my data. So let's add another table and we'll look a little bit further at it. So let's say we want to look at bookings. So again, I can go ahead and join on these two fields. Look at one more table. Let's do carriers. And our carrier can be joined for either any of these tables. We can join to get our carrier's actual airline name, uh, local currency, or the URL. We join on the field CARRID in all three cases of SBOOK, SPFLI, and SFLIGHT. So we can continue processing this and we could have us a query and you know a selection screen and all that. But this is basically all I want to see here is uh, you know, what, what can we join these tables on. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to write our ABAP program in transaction. Let's go back to the actual easy access screen. I have it here for you guys. I'm not going to actually save this. So we're going to use SE38 to create an ABAP program. We could also use transaction SE80. And that's actually preferred, and I'll show you why in later tutorials. But for now, let's just go into SE38, the ABAP editor. We're going to create a program called Z Flight underscore display. Go ahead and click create. It's going to prompt us for a title. So I'll just say display flight model data. We need to select a type. It is an executable program. And a status. We're just going to say test program. If this were a production program, we'd want to come in and say for what actual application it is. I'll just select basis for now. We're not going to transport this to any other system, so we'll click local object. So now we can go ahead and start writing some ABAP. So let's select in the tables statement the tables we want to use. So we'll say SPFLI and Let's just do for simplicity SCARR, which is our airlines. Let's go ahead and create an internal table so that we can select data from these two tables into an internal table and display it to the user. So we're going to create a type. So we're going to call this TY flight. And then we can start specifying which fields we want to use. So I'll just say Let's see what we have in SPFLI. So let's just go ahead and do, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do our carrier ID. 
and I don't use these tables every day. I, I, and these are sample tables, so I'm going to have to re remind myself all the fields here that are available to use. And uh, one thing, guys, you see how I'm going ahead and selecting this table. If I want to see the fields in that table, when I use this this dash, this minus sign, I can do control and space, and it'll show me the fields, and I can go ahead and select that from the list. So we'll just do connection ID. Um, let's do this country from. Country FR. So let's just name it the same. And then we'll do country two. And then let's pick a field from our carriers table. So we'll just say, and again, I can't remember what all these fields are called. Let's say carrier name. So we'll just go ahead and name that field the same thing. And that'll be the end of our flight type. So to work with this type, we're going to need a table, an internal table that is. So we'll call it GT for global table flight. And it is a type standard table of TY underscore flight. And then in case we need it, let's create a structure or a work area so we can actually work with this GS flight global structure flight and it's going to be a type of ty underscore flight so now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to start in the initialization event we're going to just going to say okay we're going to say select and then we're going to do table aliases so just star for now from and we'll do our join that we saw earlier from our sqvi transaction from SPFLI as I enter join SC SCARR as R on and then our join criteria that we saw earlier R underscore car ID equals I car ID and R underscore connection ID equals I connection ID into table let's do into corresponding fields of table GT flight and then if we had a where clause here we could add it you know here but we're just gonna select everything in there there's not a ton in there so we'll go ahead and just select everything which is bad practice don't do that but it's what we're gonna do for this video so we're gonna select I S P or excuse me C A R I D I and this is this I and the tilde right here is saying get it from S P F L I which we've defined an alias for as I. When you do a table join, you have to define an alias so you know so uh, S A P knows which table you're trying to retrieve that field from. So we'll do I con ID I country F R oops I country two and then we're going to select from a different table which we're joining on R C A R R N A M E so we're selecting data from multiple field multiple tables into multiple fields and we're joining so we can actually get data from both of those tables in this statement so then we're just going to use a built-in SAP ABOP class CL underscore demo underscore output and there is a static method called display and what I love about this method is I can just give it a table name so we said GT flight and whenever I go ahead and let's just check this first so we get some errors until runtime you cannot specify a field list so R con ID. Ah, that's because that's not a join condition that we need. 
So we'll just go right here and do it like this. No syntax errors. We'll activate our program. We'll do direct processing. And what this CL demo output static method display does is it'll just display that GT flight, our internal table of type TY flight, where we've selected data from both SPFLI and SCARR. It'll display that in a pop-up window so we can view it. It's, it's more for, for testing purposes. I, I would never use that in a production program. I would actually create an ALV grid or you know some sort of display structure like that. But since we're going ahead, we've activated our program, we can go ahead and do direct processing. And we can see we, we're getting our carry ID, connection ID, country from, and country to from table SPFLI. And we've joined it on a field from SCARR, which is the full text of the actual carrier name or the airline. So that just gives you a, you know, a brief overview of how you're going to go ahead and start working with the flights model. So now you should be able to, you know, research what table in the flights model exists. You should be able to go into SQVI or do some additional research and see what fields we can join that on. And we'll be able to create reports based off of that flight model. So again, you don't have to you know, you don't need a, a fully functional SAP system with your different models, your modules, MM, PP, SD, all of that, FI. You can use this flight model that's provided in the trial version of the SAP system. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you get stuck anywhere, or you find something that I've messed up and I've said wrong in this video, please leave me a comment. If you like the video, leave me a like. And as always, my email address is going to be in the video description. Please feel free to reach out. I don't bite. So <laughs> for any questions, send me an email. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.